This fire, 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 firefighters in St. Helena had to bring in helicopters to make water drops. We even saw an air tanker that was dropping fire retardant to keep the crystal fire from spreading. But as we get deeper into fire season, they might actually have a new tool to help fight fires from above. It's a drone developed by NASA researchers in the South Bay. Mary Lee got a look at what it does and how it could help with some disastrous wildfires. As we enter into wildfire season, NASA researchers are using their advanced aviation technology to help our Bay Area communities stay safe from devastating wildfires. It's very personal for me. I, I grew up in California and in my lifetime, I've, I've seen the effects of these fires really impact uh, people I care about. For Catherine Chapman, intense wildfires are a very real thing. I've seen lots of family members have to evacuate or sometimes had to pack up the car and get ready to, to head out myself uh, because the, the fire was moving closer. That experience motivates her work at NASA, helping firefighters battle monster wildfires using drones. I'm taking you over to the mobile kit that's used to visualize airspace. This was developed in a previous NASA Ames project, uh, and we're using it today to look at the airspace. Checking in with the rain safety officer that we are clear to fly in this area. And uh, Rick, you're good? I'm good. All right. Launching right. vehicles in the air. The U.S. Forest Service is currently using drones to identify, monitor, and capture thermal images of wildfires in real time. But soon, Catherine's work will help first responders use drones for so much more. Warning. So while we're doing operations, we have uh, audible signal in case some aircraft come in too close. NASA's Advanced Capabilities for Emergency Response Operations, or ACERO, is creating air traffic control software for first responders in their wildfire coordination and operations, improving communication and situational awareness for both drones and aircraft in emergency airspace, with the goal to fight wildfires with actual drone Firehawk-style helicopters 24-7 at night and in heavy smoke where it was once unsafe for aircraft to fly before. Ultimately, it's incredibly important to me to be involved with projects like this that are having a, a, real, a real influence on, on things that are close to me and close to where I live. For Catherine, her uh, work is extremely rewarding, knowing her research will one day soon save our homes and lives. Caution. The drone is still in the development stages. Scientists plan to demo it with firefighters as early as this fall.